Hi, I'm Scott. And I am Oscar. Good. And together we are Digi Influencers UK. I forgot my line. The gym we're trying today is Kanema. Well done. <laughs> this is a South American gin from the Amazon rainforest. It's produced in a sustainable distillery located in Venezuela. Wow. They use 10 local botanicals alongside juniper berries, uh, which include acai berries, cashew nuts, Ooh. uve de palma, <laughs> copanzu or something like that, and merry fruit. Wow, that is a mixture of I, stuff I've never heard of. I'm really wrong, but anyway. <laughs> it comes in a 70 centiliter bottle with an ABV of 47%, well done, and costs 35 quid, well done again. They recommend this gin is mixed with a grapefruit soda and garnished with some fresh grapefruit, and they recommend that you squeeze two wedges of lime in there. Oh, Yeah, another one is also using um, with tonic water and squeezing a lime wedge and a dash of Angostura bitters. Well, that's a bit of hard work. That's a lot of it's work. It's a lot of hard work. And we looked through our tonics and stuff. So weirdly, I mean, we have a lot of tonics. A lot of people don't have a lot of tonics. And that's, that's, that's not an embarrassing thing. No, have not a tonic. At all. I like to have a tonic and have loads of different gins for it. So we've actually found that we've got a grapefruit tonic. So we're going to be using that. <laughs> that is a stroke of luck. Now, stroke got, of luck. We've got two shelves that are full up with every type of tonic you could imagine. Yeah. Because we, we belong to quite a few uh, uh, gin clubs. Different gin clubs. Yeah. And, and they often send things through and we don't always mix them the way that they're supposed to. So we're gonna all, we're gonna do it with this grapefruit tonic, and we're also gonna do it with this Indian Fever Tree tonic water. Oh wow! We will do as much as we can to match it, but I do believe that as a gin, if you're buying a few bottles of gin, the easiest thing is to do is stick it with tonic water. I've got to say, Augustus bitters, right? Angostura bitters, yeah, whatever it is. Yeah, right. We all know <laughs> what it is. Augustus it's the one in the, which, oh, <laughs> It's because he looks Clute. like him, <laughs> right? <laughs> <laughs> anyway, right, oh, I like this. Hold on, I'm just watching myself. Right, I believe it's such an overpowering taste, right? I don't know if I'd have that with a gin, right? I definitely would not. I would definitely not spend a lot of money on a gin and put Angostura's bitters in there. Unless you're going to make a pink gin. Unless you're going to make a pink gin with bitters in the it's traditional way. It's such a strong taste, yeah. right? I know it's a cure for hangovers. I do know that. So, uh, I think any we'll alcohol see. is a cute. Right, let's open it. As always, we're trying it neat first. Bloody, bloody, blah. Let's crack it open. Oh. Oh, wow. That's sorry, I missed that. I blinked. Do you want to do the pop? Ready? There you go. That's it. Um, right. That was very loose. It's. <laughs> Oh dear, I could say something. But You're going take, another I'll room be, in I'll a minute, taking I'm telling you. YouTube. Um, ooh, that smells like rum. That I was going to say, that's like a dark spirit smell. It smells like rum. It smells, com that is, that is, that's a full on or smell. Or tequila. It's, it's tequila, oh. do you know what? It's, it's a mix mm. between tequila and rum. There is no way on the smell that you would know this was gin. I am going to say, bit. It's more of a, 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 a rum because I hate tequila and I don't want to taint no. my theory on that. Hold on, I'm just going to take it off, off, off camera to have our camera optics smell it. What do you think? Tequila or rum? Tequila, yeah. You say it's tequila. I re no, He's going tequila. I don't, I don't doubt it is nearer tequila, but if I, if I think it's tequila, I won't even want to put it in my mouth. I hate tequila. I hate tequila. It's an interesting taste. It's got the warmth of a rum. Okay. It does have the warmth of a rum. Oh, let's put let's put goosebumps on. I have got hair sticking up. Ooh. <laughs> and he ain't got many left. <laughs> wow, is it pick on Oscar day today? <laughs> well, at least I shaved mine. Um, anyway, um, it doesn't taste like gin. Neat. I've got to say, the taste is a lot better than the smell for me like a thousand times Do you know what? Better. I don't mind the smell. Weirdly, the smell is a lot more overpowering than the taste. Ooh. So th there's a lot more fragrance going on than there is flavour. I may need to get the ice bucket under my mouth. Um, oh, that's hot. I, I, 47% though, right, well done. I'll be honest with you. I would not, if someone gave this to me neat, I would not know that this was gin. This doesn't taste like gin neat <sighs> at all. 
tastes like alcohol. I would, if someone gave this to you as a as a kind of um, a weird kind of rum thing or a weird tequila thing going on. Um, sorry, my cat's meowing. Um, come on then. Um, let's let's get to the montage because I need because my mouth is on right, fire. Right, so we are going to be doing two mixes of it with the um, grapefruit tonic and with the regular tonic. Let's yeah. get to it. So let's give it a try. Cheers. So we, this first one we're doing is with the grapefruit tonic. Brilliant. Not grapefruit soda, grapefruit tonic. They do recommend grapefruit soda. We found grapefruit tonic. It looks colorful. Looks I'll lovely. Give it, that. it looks lovely. It's actually not bad. I'm mainly getting grapefruit. It's actually not bad. Um, I'm quite enjoying that. I'll be honest. I'm quite enjoying that. Okay. Mm. We go with Rick, so we squeeze the two segments of, of lime into it like they recommended. We've garnished with, with grapefruit. We've done the same with tonic because a lot of you aren't gonna have grapefruit tonic or grapefruit soda at home, so that's it. So we're doing a tonic. Okay. I'll come back to that one in a minute. I wanna try this one. This is a bit of tonic water. Tonic. Yes, it's a bit of tonic water, Oscar. The tonic water. Stick your little pinky out, there we go. That's a big slurp. I know, that's a very big slurp. It's a bit bland. It's a bit bland. Yeah, I think that's horrible. That's horrible. I this... don't say it's horrible, it's a bit bland. Do you know what? The thing that gets me is, you're, you're selling a spirit. If you're going very distinct of going grapefruit soda, so like a soda water with grapefruit, not many people's gonna have that. We ma managed to have a grapefruit tonic water, which a lot of you out there aren't gonna have, and it's not gonna be an easy accessible thing. You're not gonna find it in your local supermarket. So that angers me a little bit because it's not... It's... Yeah, but you've ordered this gin. I, I, I will defend you. I agree with you yeah. 100%. However, I will defend this gin. If you're ordering this gin, right, you should have researched the gin a little bit. Don't just order it off the hoof. Right, that was correct, right? Don't order it off the hoof and go, oh, I'm just gonna order a load of gin. You should research a gin, because if you're spending 30, 40, 50, 60 pounds on a gin, yeah. you should do a bit of research. Yeah, but, but Because also, this isn't yeah. freely available in, in also, a supermarket. Also, hold on, as gin shelves, oh. cabinets and things go, you know, you wanna know that you can put most of your gins with your regular tonic, whether it be Mediterranean or ordinary tonic water. So I'm watching the cat, because he has this habit of jumping up on me. Yeah. So, right. so what they're doing is that the dog's eating outside, so they're they're kind of like they're looking at his bowl. So anyway, so the the thing is for me is that it's not with a normal tonic water, it's nothing particular. And we've actually squeezed in the limes and stuff, so it's got we've added flavour in there, and it's not much flavour for me. No, I don't like that. But you know what? This this is this is palatable. This isn't bad. I mean, I'm not saying it's horrible. It isn't bad but it's just lacking in it's, there. It's lacking a lot of, I, I'm getting a lot of tonic, well, I'm getting grapefruit out all the yeah, way. So, that, so you're getting it from the tonic. I'm from getting the, from the tonic. Yeah, from yeah. the tonic, which when we taste it neat, it tasted like a tequila stroke rum. It had like a weird element. And I'm so glad it doesn't continue that taste because tequila is disgusting. It's not, I like tequila <laughs> and I like rum. And I like Sambuca. There you go. <laughs> I was going to do a song, right? About... Oh, well, sorry, did I interrupt that? Anyway, we're not going no, to do songs. I, I like to keep. I up. like big drinks. <laughs> and I can't deny it. Well, <laughs> what have I missed? I don't know. Anyway. Um, right. Yes, this, this is... Right, anyway. no. With the grapefruit... So you, with you the... don't like it with the tonic? No. With the grapefruit one, it's nice. It's However, really nice. the tonic However... should have Augustus... There's, there's, Gloop. No, bitters. it hasn't got Angostura bitters in. No, tonic what's the one? What, what's no, the aromatic one is more the bittery one. Right. It's, like, it's, it's more bitters, it's more flavors in it. So maybe it would work better with an aromatic tonic. But having said that, we have got some gins that we 
that said do not use a tonic and we added a tonic on one of them and it was disgusting yeah we did yeah Sorry. it was a very expensive burpier, gin, yeah. and it was like recommended drinking so they recommended this what we've got in here is what they recommended yeah all this i'm is saying drinkable. is all i'm saying is it doesn't make it a versatile gin does it if if you're if you're going this distinct it doesn't make it if you're having to have that many flavors added to it for it to taste nice you're stealing my argument the, right. the, the distiller is supposed to do all the work for us, and yeah. we add one thing. And I mean, the, the fact that we're supposed to add, you know, half a rainforest of. Do you know what? Stuff do you know what there? I would be interested in doing with this is creating a version of a mojito with this. So muddle some um, mm. some mint with some sugar, and this and soda water. I think. The flavours I tasted when it was neat, I think it'd lend really well to that kind of form so, of drink. Like so why do you think it's changed so much for the grapefruit? Because I am mainly getting grapefruit. Because of the grapefruit in it. I, th I think that that's bringing all the different elements in it. This is. It's know. definitely got rid of tequila horribleness, right? I'm missing some gin in it. I'm getting mainly grapefruit. Obviously. This this just take. It, it isn't bad, but it's just a bit flat. It's just a bit flat in flavour. The with the grapefruit, yeah, it's really nice. It's actually nice. It's actually a no it's a nice drink. Do you see what I'm getting at though? I'm not. I'm not trying to be picky. I'm just saying that most people won't have a grapefruit tonic at home. I know. It's not fair. Recommendation is definitely don't have it with tonic. I don't like it with tonic. No, it's got to be a grapefruit tonic. But then, or maybe you, yeah, sorry, you get a normal tonic. That, yeah. That's a grapefruit tonic, that's a normal tonic. Or then maybe you get like half a grapefruit and squeeze it in, or a quarter of a grapefruit and squeeze it in and then put tonic in. I don't know. We just went with the kind of lime, we just did the same things. What are you looking at? Are you looking I'm looking at, at the grapefruit. We've got the grapefruit down. Pass the grapefruit up. Okay. There you go. Here we go. An experimentation. Do you Piece. want No, just pass it here. Here we go. Right. So grapefruit. There you go. I'm gonna squidge it in. It's a big squidge. Well, do you want a little stirrer? I've got a stirrer. There you go. There you go. Right, because I need to know if this is going to work with tonic. Okay, so this is normal tonic in here, fever tree tonic, and now we've added some grapefruit. Hold on, I'm sorry. I need to do this. <laughs> He's taking my one. It's a thousand times better. So it is the grapefruit. Let me try it. It's a thousand times better. But I'm getting oh, yeah. grapefruit. Yeah. Tonic water leaves it flat. It's nothing. But is it the grapefruit that we're tasting and we just like to taste the grapefruit? I mean, overall, overall, this is nice. This is nice. I'm, I'm not getting away from that. It's just my thing of not everyone's going to have grapefruit tonic. You know, if, yeah, if you're having to squeeze like a quarter of a grapefruit. But haven't I just it, made that? Pretty much. Yeah. <laughs> That's what you've done. Yeah. <laughs> let's score it. Like, come on, let's score it. I don't even know what we're scoring it on. I, I, where, I don't where know. Where are we? What, what are we going uh, on? I don't know how we're going to score this. Right. Okay, uh, right. I'm, I'm, I'm there. I know, where, I know where I am. I'm having this one, though. Um, okay. Yeah, I think so. Right, go. Go. Okay, but, but, I, sc I scored it a five. I scored it a five because not everyone's gonna have grapefruit tonic. Um, not everyone's gonna have grapefruit as a garnish. So with a tonic, it's a bit flat. It's not great. It's it's like, uh, it's, a, it's, a, it's a little bit flat. Adding that. That's definitely made that palatable. Made it better. It's very similar to that one now. With a grapefruit tonic or probably grapefruit soda, we couldn't find grapefruit soda. Um, it's really nice. So that's why I yeah. did five is an, is an average score. It isn't a low score, it's an average score. And that's why I scored it that. I think I will try it though in a mojito. I'm gonna make a mojito out of it. And hopefully I like that. I, I could easily do a five. I'll definitely drink it. However, it is with the tonic and I mean, the, actually, you know what? The neat, neat it was disgusting. I liked I, it. Neat. I didn't like it neat, he did, right? This is actually quite nice. Um, yeah, I'm happy with this. Well, there are our scores. There you go. So do your bits. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop us a comment if you tried it. We'll see you in the next video. Cheers. 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 I like it like this. <laughs>